Hands up and hit that like button if you think Cyberpunk had the worst release due to hype ever. In fact, hands up if you think Cyberpunk just had the worst release ever regardless. I bet many people are throwing both hands up in the air. Well, would it surprise you if I told you I actually really enjoyed this broken mess of a game at release? And that's the truth. And if you were around to watch my coverage on Cyberpunk and on that release, you will have heard me state this numerous times. I mean, guys, I ran the story literally 20 times on both Xbox and PC and also had a ton of fun with mods on PC too. But regardless of that, today I bring you information that could possibly be future DLC and expansion leaks and also if you do play on PC it's possible to actually play some of these DLCs right now by modding them into the game. Let's get into this people. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. So yes I am a big fan of cyberpunk like I said I've completed the game numerous times I am just waiting on DLCs and expansions. This kind of shiz gets me hyped. Well I shouldn't get hyped for cyberpunk because we know how that ends but it gets me excited for more. Let's just put it that way. Now over the past week, or just over a week ago, over on Reddit, a post talks about data mined files, which has found things which are believed to be references to DLCs and expansions. Now the post you can see on screen now, and we'll read this together. In April, in search of cut content, I went into the text files of the game and found references to EP1 with new quests from Mr. Hans, the fixer from Pacifica. Forgetting about it for a long time, and after digging into the leaked source code, I found a list of DLCs and two expansions with the names of EP1 and EP2. A day later, I remembered my April find and realized EP1 is most likely going to be an expansion. EP1 expands Pacifica and adds a combat zone with new quests and locations, as well as a new long history. EP2, he says he doesn't know, but can also say that CAB01, AR06, AR12, JPN09 are new gigs. EP1 and EP2 are going to be long paid expansions. The other DLCs are going to be free. The list of the names of the three DLCs are DLC1, SWP, DLC2, J Poses, DLC3, Cab01, DLC4, Quartz, DLC5, Jackets, DLC6, Apart, DLC7, PWP, DLC8, Mirror, DLC9, AR06, DLC10, Monster, DLC11, J Look, DLC12, Unfinished, DLC13, TWP, DLC14, AR12, DLC15, NG Plus, DLC 16, JPN 06, DLC 17, BWP. He also goes on to state expansion 1 and 2 are going to be long like the Witcher expansions. Now, if I do recall before this game was released, guys, I'm pretty sure CD Projekt Red did confirm that Cyberpunk would get like 15 plus DLCs, much like the Witcher got. But a lot of these would be free DLCs, a lot of these would be small DLCs, and a lot of these would just be things added into the game, like we can see DLC 5, jacket, so probably more clothes here. DLC 10, monster, this could be a new boss somewhere. DLC 15, NG plus, could be new game plus, or new game mode plus. And a lot of these to me look like references to cities like Japantown. DLC 16, JPN 06, that just could be an expansion or an extra mission there. It does also go on to state this data miner, text about the new quest from Mr. Hands got added after patch 1.2, before they were not there and they were not in the game files. And this means one thing he says, they are working on EP1 right now and will get it early 2022. I'm not sure how we know his dates, but you know. I mean, if you are going to be serious with ourselves, the state the game released in and the amount of fixes and patches it needed, we were never going to get big expansions until the game was fixed. And that's just the truth. I think we all know this. But a lot of the DLC missions were asked, mentioned here. People are stating and believing now that they are actually cut content, which is already in the game. Because another post posted by Nomad is titled, Free DLC missions are already in the game and you can play right now. I'm 99% sure 
sure about it. 99% sure is pretty high. I'd probably say it's almost certain. Well, it is almost certain. It's 1% off. He states, about a list of names of the three DLCs posted yesterday, I noticed something that I am 99% sure about, and you'll probably agree with. There are four DLCs in the list called by the name of the district or sub-district. Actually, I just picked up on that myself. DLC 3 is Cab 01. Kibuki, yes, actually, you're right. DLC 9 and DLC 14 are AWR 06 and AWR 12 are Royal. And we got DLC 16, like I said, JPN 06 Japantan. Right after the game modding community started, a YouTuber realized that four quests were inactive from the game. But with the help of mods, you can force the game to let you play it. And guess what? The four missions are exactly on those locations I mentioned above. Now, there's actually gameplay footage of each of these here, but I wouldn't dare play it because I don't know how CD Projekt Red will react to that and they'll probably just take the video down. But I will link this Reddit post down below. I mean, if you want to go there and check out the gameplay for yourself, you can. The DLC 3 Cab 01 mission is called Concrete Cage Trap. The DLC 9 AWR 06 mission is called Nasty Hangover. The DLC 14 AWR 12 mission is called Desperate Measures. And DLC 16 JPN 06 is called Hot Head. And it's true guys, like he says, after you watch these videos, because I have just had a quick look at them, you can see that they're definitely unfinished. So they are in the game, but you can only play them by modding them and basically force starting the missions via PC modding. Now a lot of people are going to get a little pissed about this, which I guess is fine, but I mean there's so many games out there nowadays that do cut content from the original game and bring it back as DLCs. I'm not saying Cyberpunk has done that, I'm not saying CD Projekt Red have done that here, I mean a lot of these could be placeholder, they could be building up with each patch and then will be released, but then again they could be cut content that should have been in the base game being brought back as DLC, free DLC, which I ain't fussed about. I mean, the game's massive. There's plenty to do anyway in the base game. It doesn't bother me that much. And the amount of games that do this kind of thing nowadays, it's kind of the norm. It shouldn't be, but it is kind of the norm. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to bring you the latest news surrounding Cyberpunk. I mean, it's kind of, well, I say blowing up. It ain't blowing up, but it's kind of getting a little bit of a back in the game because new things are about to come. They really are, and I cannot wait for them i mean cut content new content dlcs more clothes more armor more weapons i am happy with that but we will just have to wait and see but if any more news does drop regarding cyberpunk i will have you covered right here on my channel so i'm a little bit late on this news i'm not gonna lie i've been taking a kind of break from youtube I'm not just taking it too seriously I mean, there's not much to post on anyway so i may as well enjoy my time in the uk warm weather even though it's about to piss down this next week so yes you may see more videos from me I'm various other games too but yes guys tell me your thoughts on this down below within that comments section if you are looking forward to more new cyberpunk action let me know down below but guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like it really helps out if you're new around here and want to see more and never want to miss a video upload make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on and hopefully people i will see you on that next one